drove me to do the film was was um, the fact that we don't have a cultural voice at all, and everyone is interpreting us the way you would interpret a, if you make a Japanese film and you're not Japanese, and as long as there are Japanese people that do Japanese film, then you can just do your Japanese film. But when you don't have, it's everyone's interpreting it, and, and there's no voice from within telling a story. I felt that it was time to, to give that very small story, not about, a, you know, it's not me waving a flag of a community. I mean, yeah. It's too heavy for me, because I'm a storyteller, and I'm all into very personal, m mental stories. Um, but I just wanted to have that voice. I thought it was time uh, to, to just make a little squeaky voice from within. The United States and Israel is very different, even religiously wise. Um, they're very open here, and they're not as strict, and they're more materialistic here. Okay, and so that's different. But Tel Aviv is very special because Tel Aviv was like 50 years ago, a lot of big rabbis lived in Tel Aviv, and then they all started leaving because it became a very secular place. It was not to begin with, and so we're not a lot of us there. We're like, I would say, maybe 300, 400 uh, families uh, from different Hasidics, uh, not even the same synagogue. Um, and. Uh, when you, when you live in Tel Aviv, then you stay alive, this is my opinion, because you see all the options and you choose your life again and again and again, because it's like the main city, you know, everything's happening in Tel Aviv. This is the art place, this is where culture is, and I love it. You know, from, from the moment I saw her, she was just Shira. It wasn't about her being the perfect actress, she was just Shira. She was very hard to find, so she was my she was the biggest you know present that year. This film was special, and everyone that that came into that film, it was very special for them. It gave a lot of people a first chance on this film. Some of the, the crew, actors, and that you know gives, brings a lot of passion in, and. Um, I think it was me not trying to control the set and letting everyone do their job and knowing they know their job better than I know theirs. And I think that gave a very good feeling. Everyone was really putting themselves in, and that's, that was very, very strong. I didn't, I didn't have a vision of, of Venice before I went, you know, I didn't care, I didn't know about the festival, I was just a student finishing school when I became religious, so I didn't have this Venice Film Festival thing. But everyone was very excited that we're going and we're accepted as a first feature to the, to the competition, that was like a big thing. And we went, all of us, to Venice, my husband and me, producer and his wife, cast manager, actors. Everyone went. It's like we were like a big group of people that went. And we went to, to the screening, and it was an awful screening for me. I was looking at it and said, what were you trying to say? This is like a boring film, means nothing. I hope they didn't bring tomatoes. Okay, and then the film, and, and we were like on a balcony. It's like very, you know, and... They started clapping their hands, and I was like, as long as there's no tomatoes. And then there was like standing ovation of 10 minutes. It was like really crazy. And everyone's yelling at us, don't sit, don't sit, because you really want to know how long they really clap their hands without, you know, once you sit, then it's gone. And it was standing there for 10 minutes. It was such a shock. It was a shock. I think I'm, I'm very simple. You know, I'm, I'm not into fighting any wars, it's not me, I'm a peacemaker, and yet again I'm not that strong to really make peace. So what I do is just wanting you to think I'm human. You know, it's as simple as just being human and find what, we're, what, 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 what connects us, and it's feelings and love and pain, and this is it, and this is all I'm saying. Mm -hmm.